All right, welcome to our next JP Tech Talks. This is for you 30 level students, uh, I guess 20 and 30 level students actually, who are doing their different projects in photography class uh, where we use the 50 10 5 rule. So, this tutorial is going to show you how to make a thumbnail printout 11 by 17 that'll have 50 thumbnails on it, and then as well how to lay out for your main project assignment uh, in InDesign. So a couple different programs we'll use. We'll use the Photoshop slash Adobe Bridge um, programs here. Uh, inside the tools section uh, in Adobe Bridge, there is a tool under the Photoshop that says Contact Sheet 2. As well, you can go and access the same area from Photoshop. You can go to Automate and go to Contact Sheet 2. So a couple different places where you can find this information. So I've just pulled up some old trip photos from a uh, from couple summers ago. Me and my wife went out and I've got a whole ton of photos. They're kind of a mess. Uh, lots of different stuff going on here. But I want to sort of lay them out and pick the best ones. So I am just going to select hopefully 50 of them here. Uh, let's see. If I shift and select... I've got 30 selected, so I need a few more. That's 45. So to here should be 50. Okay, so if you look on Adobe Bridge, it'll say you have 50 selected. So that means that I am good to go. I can go to my tools section. I can go to Photoshop and then I'm going to go to Contact Sheet 2. When I select that, it will open up Photoshop and it will open up this dialog box here, which shows me that I have Adobe Bridge is my source and I have 50 files already selected. And from there, I am going to create a contact sheet. So it's going to ask you what size you want your pages. So in inches, I want my width to be 11, or excuse me, 17. I want my height to be 11. We're going to leave the resolution at 300. And then it's going to ask me for columns and rows. So in order to have 50 photos on here that are in a half decent size, I'm going to need 10 columns and 5 rows. And it's going to do the auto spacing. Uh, it's going to, it says it's going to go across first. It doesn't really matter. It'll just keep things in a little bit more noticeable order for you. And then it's going to rotate them for best fit. Uh, and then use file name as a caption. So it's going to use the font, Arial, Regular, and it's going to be a 12-point font. Uh, we can change this font to be an 8-point font because we don't need such a big font uh, for this document. We don't need to see the file huge. Uh, we just need to be able to, to make it out so that we know which files we like, which ones we don't like. When I select OK... This is going to process here, and I might speed this up depending on how fast it goes. It's going to bring in every single image, change the size of that image, add the text accordingly, and it's going to lay out the page for us all in one step. So instead of us having to do this in a very torturous way and bring in all those pictures, uh, even if we were to do this in InDesign, it would still be a little bit clumsy. Um, I'll show you how to do it in InDesign as well. There is a fairly easy way to do it, but it takes a little bit more typing and a little bit more monkeying around, whereas this will do it all for us in a nice easy step. And we can then work with those photos from here um, to do a couple different things. So I like Photoshop for this thumbnail uh, aspect. For InDesign, maybe it's a little bit better for your second portion of this project. But hang tight while this continues to edit. I'll continue to jabber so that there's not just a bunch of dead space or maybe I'll speed this up and put some cheesy elevator music in here. All right, so there we go. We have our thumbnails. They've very nicely and easily populated in there for us with the names, the image. I can relatively do nothing to this. I can't really screw it up. I could move the whole thing around a little bit 
and mess it up. If I wanted to edit the individual pictures, I believe I can double click on this and it would actually, oh no, it doesn't. It just flattens it for us. Perfect. So we can't wreck it. There's no way for us to wreck this document that it's done. It gives us all our different pictures. And from here, you can either take the pen tool. If you know which ones you want to highlight, you can make a circle around them and say that these are the ones you like. So I like this one and this one and this one. It's going to be a little bit clumsy doing it in the computer and it makes a bit of a mess. So I would advise doing it after the fact. <coughs> Excuse me. What we do need to do though, when we print this, we're going to go file, print. It's going to bring up the dialog box for us. Uh, and we need to make sure that we select one thing when we're going to print this. So uh, we have the color printer in our print settings. Actually, let's save this as a PDF because this is probably going to give us issues. Uh, rather than try to do it this way, let's do it the same way we print everything else. Let's go to File, Save As. Let's go to the F drive, Comtech folder. Now we'll be able to save it. Give it a name. So this I'll call it D write contact sheet. Select OK. Save. Now it's going to save for us this time. And we should be able to find it again. So I am going to. Go to my explorer here, go to my computer, F drive, Comtech, and inside here we have D write contact sheet. I can open this up, gives me a picture of all of the different pages here, and then I'm going to go file, print, and very important when I do this, obviously I need to print to the color printer but I also need to check to shrink oversized pages just to make sure that it fits within the page borders so that it's actually going to fit on the page. And then it gives me some space at the bottom here that I can just write my name on it. And I can even write down which pictures I want to keep and which ones I'm not going to keep uh, for doing my edits down the road. So I would just hit print on this and away it goes. It prints it off for me. And then I can now go into InDesign and we will finish up the second half of this project. Okay. As I mentioned, contact sheet in here, it's nice, it automates it, it does it all for us. If we went to InDesign and we were going to work in InDesign, we would be able to Pull up a new document. And we are able to set this as 11 by 17, same as we had done before with our horizontal orientation. We only need one page. And we are going to create this. Okay. The difference now. Oh, I accidentally left it with two columns. No big deal. The difference now for what we've done before is that we are going to create a series of boxes. So similar to before, we're going to take the rectangle frame tool here. We're going to drag it all the way out. This time we're going to create so 10 different columns and five rows gives us those same 50 boxes and then i could go file place i could go to those same photos as i had before i could grab a bunch of photos whichever ones i was going to put into this document when i select open it's going to pop up and it will import these files. Oh, I accidentally picked 60 of them. That's not going to work, but 
we just won't place them all into the boxes. So it brings in all the different thumbnails. Now this way won't give us the labels, but at least we can just click into the boxes now and it will set all of these into place. So this might be faster for you depending on what operation you're doing or how you want to lay out your pictures or just generally whatever program you want to use. If you do that and you make a little boo-boo and you make it small, you can just control Z and step back one. Once you get all of these placed into the boxes, Whichever ones you have left, you can just hit escape till they go away. And now we also have our 50 pages. You could print it basically the same way as Photoshop, save as, etc., etc. The difference in InDesign, if you did it this way, is you can click on the box. You have an outline already. So you could take the outline. You could make it say red, for example, or pink or something easy to see. You could increase the stroke of that box and then that would highlight which pictures you want to keep. The problem with the InDesign way is that you don't have any labels for these pictures. You can say display preferences or um, you can get the information off of the pictures uh, by selecting the picture and going to the links and seeing which picture you selected so you know that that's image number 30 but that's going to be tricky for you to label them all and and very clumsy so that's why I like the Photoshop contact sheet um, but for your major project when you're actually handing this in once you've edited those five photos that you choose to edit uh, it's really nice because we're gonna lay it out as 11 by 17 the same way and then you're basically gonna have uh, three photos along the top and then you will have a couple more photos along the bottom here if your photos are all landscape, great, you can do it this way. If some of them are portraits, that's not a big deal. Just make sure you turn them and lay them out in such a way that things look complete and concise and organized. And then you are going to create a text box down in the corner here, which is in, gonna include your name Make the font a bit bigger. It needs to have your name in the box. Topic of the photo shoot. List of photos that you kept. description of how you took the photos any other info you would like to share this will get printed off and handed into the hand in bin so I'm just going to throw a few different photos in here um, some ones I took on this trip that turned out half decent. So I would put these pictures into the various different boxes wherever they look like they're going to fit the best. And then I'm going to need to make whatever adjustments to those boxes. So for example, some of them are really big, so I need to right click fit content proportionately. And then similarly, these are the wrong direction, so I might need to 
rotate some of them around so that they fit in the box appropriately depending on what look and feel I'm going for. Maybe something like this picture would need to switch places with this one. But you get the idea and uh, make it look nice. Name, topic of the photo shoot, list of photos you kept, description of how you took the photos and then any other info you'd like to share and uh, make sure that it gets printed off and handed in. So you'd go file, save as, um, or excuse me, you would go file export, export it as a PDF. Make sure you know where you're saving it to. So go to your F drive and we'll call this five best composition. You'd hit export and then from there you would print it to the color 11 by 17. Uh, let's add this here and say description of how you took the photos and their composition. Style. I don't like hyphens, so if you go in here, you can take off hyphenate. Okay, that should be it for this project. Uh, if you'd like to put a title at the top, you're more than welcome to do that. Move these down a bit. Just call it assignment number five. could be centered and make the font a little bit bigger. There we go. That is it for this project. Have a great day.